David Hayward. Uh, David, this is Liza. I need to talk to you. Is something wrong? Um, I just need to talk to you in, in person, in private. Are you sick? Hurt? Well, if it would be easier, I could come to the hospital. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you about that. Well, please, make it soon. I'll do what I can. I am so happy. You want to see me, I hope. <laughs> that too. Mm. I am so happy that Palmer's going to be all right, and I have you to thank for this. I can't thank you. I don't know how to thank you for saving his life. You don't? Well, I do have an idea. Oh, good. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, I have to get Palmer out of your mother's earshot so I can do some serious campaigning for you. Well, that sounds good, but I was thinking more along the lines of... Mm. <laughs> Later. Because first, I want Palmer to show the world how grateful he is that you saved his life. I want him to secure your appointment as head of the Angashi Foundation. You do know that the hospital board meeting's been postponed until Palmer gets back on his feet, right? Well, good. <laughs> that gives me lots more time to be persuasive. Oh, you are that. So, uh, what about Leo? <laughs> well, that was an abrupt change of subject. Yeah. You mean, what about my recently discovered brother? Yeah. Is he still in Pine Valley, or has he slinked out of town before the bloodhounds could get his scent? He's being discharged from this institution as we speak. Apparently, he has a command performance for one Lieutenant Fry at the PVPD. Oh, that's great. Are they questioning him as, as an eyewitness or as a suspect? Do you really believe that Vanessa wanted Palmer dead? Really? No. You'd like me to explain? Yes, I would. Well, I would love to, but I think I'm going to need a little incentive. Everything with you is a negotiation? I'm just saying that I would like a little incentive, that's all. Mm. You negotiate very well. Very, very well. What do you want? Uh, you both have to forgive me. In the face of such dazzling beauty, I seem to have completely forgotten. Oh, spare us, please. Erica, this is Leo. Leo Dupre. Leo, this Ms. is... Miss Kane needs no introduction. I'd know you anywhere. In fact, I have known you everywhere. Everywhere I've been in Europe and Asia and Africa. There was your face gracing the cover of a magazine. And of course, my mother has had so much to say about it. Oh, <laughs> yes, I can imagine. Mother is no friend to Erica, or to me for that matter. So if you want to continue this conversation, leave her name out of it. Sir, yes, sir. <sighs> I have a patient coming out of recovery. I'd like to check on him later. I never would have expected my brother to have such excellent taste. Tell me, what brings you here to Pine Valley, or whom? My mother, of course. Uh, she wanted me to meet my new stepfather. Palmer Cortland. Palmer is one of my closest friends in the world. Have you had a chance to visit... Unfortunately, I'm due at the police station, so I'd better go. For questioning about last night? Yes, my kidnapping. Oh. I would have thought Palmer shooting. Maybe we can become better acquainted over drinks sometime. It was a real pleasure meeting you. If you were looking for either of your two sons, are they not here? No, Erica. Actually, you are the very person I'm looking for. You've been telling everyone that I tried to have Palmer killed. And? 
And it's outrageous. Yes, Vanessa, it is. I love Palmer Cortland as if he were my father. I love my husband very deeply, and I want nothing more in the world than to grow old with him by my side. And for anyone to even suggest that I tried to kill my own husband is insane. Yes, it is. And what are you saying? I mean, if you didn't do it, who did? Are you suggesting that Palmer shot himself? Oh, of course not! I simply do not know exactly what happened, and I certainly wish I did, but I assure you I had nothing to do with it. Well, I suggest that you figure it out before you're questioned by the police. The police? Yes, of course, you're their main suspect. Oh, well, that's outrageous, that's preposterous, that's... Speaking of the police, your supposed son is there right now, Leo, at police headquarters. Oh, well, that's nothing but... Pro <sighs> did you say supposed son? I did. Mm. You're questioning whether or not Leo is my son. I find it odd that uh, you did not tell the man you love so much that he had another stepson. And I find it even more odd that you didn't tell your firstborn son, David, that he has a brother. Tell me, Vanessa, are there other secret offsprings hiding in the wings? <laughs> Palmer's always said that he, he, he just adored your blunt honesty. But it's really not honesty, is it? It's... it's... Pure venom. It's curiosity. I wonder, Vanessa, what are you so afraid of that you would go to these lengths to hide it? I have nothing to hide from anyone, Erica. Besides, none of this is any of your concern to begin with. Oh, really? With. My friend's life is certainly my concern. But I realize I've got nothing but lies here. David? Where's Erica? That woman has told Palmer that it is his her considered opinion that I tried to have him killed. Now, if you don't stop this woman, so you will just be, 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 be holding her hand through a slander suit that's going to set the benchmark for the millennium. I'll tell you what, Vanessa. Why don't you keep your eye on your own house? This is my house. This is my marriage. This is my husband. And what do you mean, my own house? Well, as usual, mother. I know more than you give me credit for. So don't tell me how to handle Erica. I would suggest that you and Palmer keep both eyes firmly fixed on each other. And I will gladly keep mine on Erica. <laughs> David, why can't you ever just answer a simple question? Not my style. But why don't you go see your ailing husband, all right? Or go see how your son is doing. You know, your other one. David, please. Bye-bye, Vanessa. Take care. Cancel your plans for this evening. I'll be over soon. Oh, all right. <clears throat> Hurry. Oh, Janet, I'm sorry. I'm late. I have, a, um, I have an appointment that I have to get to, so why don't you just see me in the morning? I'll get to the point quickly. I need money. Money? For what? A charity. A, a charity that it saves children's lives. Oh, oh, I see. All right, well, then do see me in the morning, okay? Actually, I just uh, made several sizable contributions, but I'm sure we can find some donation money still left there for you. So, um, how much do you need? $50,000. $50,000? Jenna, I think you really need to be a lot more careful. You know, the world is just full of opportunists. Are you sure this is not a scam? No, it's nothing like that. I mean, because a lot of these charities are nothing but elaborate hoaxes. No, this one's on the up and up. Uh, I'm quite sure of it. It's just, oh, Erica, please. When I look in Amanda's eyes, I... I just know how lucky I am, and I, I want to make sure things stay that way. And that other children who aren't so fortunate, that this money could be used to raise the quality of their lives. Okay, I'm sure it's a wonderful thing. Uh, but $50,000, I just can't just give you $50,000 just like that. Well, but it would mean so much. Look, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Right now, before I leave, I'm going to go down to accounting. I'll have them cut you a check for $1,000. Thank you. Thank you very much. Here you are, David. 
torturing my son. Even though he just happens to be the victim in this horrendous kidnapping. Honestly, why aren't you out chasing down the real perpetrators? Mrs. Cortland, we are following up all leads, questioning all witnesses. We are chasing down every detail and running them through every forensic analytical tool we have access to. That's what I am doing here. That is what we are all doing here. And that is what we are going to continue to do until we have an answer. Now, so far, every question has led to another one. So. We are going to be doing this for some time to come. If that's all right with you, Mrs. Cortland. Excuse me. Uh, you poor dear. Are you all right? Have you had any sleep at all? Something to eat? I met the world famous Erica Kane today. Oh. oh, I am sorry, darling. It's really been a rotten day, hasn't it? I can't agree with your obviously low opinion of her. I understand my brother a lot better now. Mm. Like, for example, his interest in Erica. <sighs> she is extremely easy to look at. <laughs> and she's smart. <laughs> it is such a shame it won't last. Okay, Tom. You're not Janet. Where's Janet? I don't know. I didn't see it. Well, she just asked me to... Doesn't matter. I will, um... Take care of that later. Hi. Hi. What? You still haven't told me exactly why you think that Vanessa is not the one who put the hit on Palmer. <sighs> it's just she's too obvious of Vanessa. She's very shrewd. She would have done a better job. Well, that, um... Still doesn't make me worry any less about Palmer. No, I wouldn't worry about Palmer. Palmer can handle himself and Vanessa. They'll be as happy as two snakes in a pit. What about little Leo? Where does he fit in in their marital bliss? I don't know. Well, aren't you curious? No, not at all. Just enough to book a flight to Heathrow tomorrow morning to gather information on him. I see. England is an awfully big country. Mm, yes, it is. I think it's way too big for you to just scour all alone. Oh, but what choice do I have? Well, you need help. Obviously. Obviously. 